count it up, count it up, count it up, count it. Count well, I am actually standing outside of round two South Beach right now. Today is gonna be the first episode of selling sessions to round two. I'm gonna combine the footage of the grand opening, what I did sell to them, as well as my big bag of duffel. I brought a good amount of things. Hopefully they do cash me out or maybe I can trade and find some things. Again, this is episode one of selling sessions to round two. I'm gonna try to do weekly, you know, hit up the thrifts every single day throughout the week. And then at the end of the week, we'll come here and try to cash out or try to trade. So I think it'll be a new series. We'll do this weekly. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. How's it going, man? Good, bro. How are you? Doing well. Did you want cash or credit today? Credit, for sure. Yeah, I was so hyped when I found that. It was super clean too. And then the rest is like vintage Obama Black History double sided shirts. Bring back the old days. Right. <laughs> uh, black history, black history, and then these pants, it's like vintage Gore-Tex. I feel like it would match the TNF. Oh wow, yeah, it's pretty Like literally, like match it perfectly, almost. Let's take these few for right now. Okay, cool. And then these two, I actually had questions on. Okay. Um, I saw this on at the gallery. Yeah, we've had a few of them. It's nice. Do you know like the story it. on it, like year by any by chance, uh, or just, like maybe late '80s or something like that, early '90s? Okay, cool. That's yeah, sick. Love that. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that. And then yeah. these as well. Do you have these? Like to sell or what? Yeah, like what would you maybe offer on them or? I'd pay I, like I'd pay like two hundred on. Two hundred. Okay, yeah. Awesome. What do you value buy? I bought them for two hundred. Ship from Japan. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So on this stuff, it would be. 200, uh, 200 cash, like 220 store credit. Uh, yeah, I'll do store credit. Cool. Thank you. Go, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, man. Good, Tim, when you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. And hey, don't forget this stuff. Oh, yes. Thank you, bro. Thank you. How's it going? Yeah. You want to follow these ones? I was so bummed the Stone Island shorts. They were tagged medium, yeah. but they're a 2XL in stone. Ah, they so they fit like a large XL. Yeah, yeah, but like honestly, I'm making them work. Like, oh, yeah. they're so yeah. sick. It's mad small. Like, yeah. XL, 2X and all. yeah, yeah, easily. But I love them. It's my favorite. I didn't realize that they were hand dyed. Yeah, That's what like makes it. Unique. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I watched the documentary how it's like made on high sonority. It's crazy. That's why I love Stone Island. Like, the quality. Super limited. What you doing? I went down the street. Really? Yeah. Shit. I'm like literally walking this. Shit. That's so I don't know how big Nash is. I found this piece, but I feel like it might be too small for him. Maybe too big right now. Where you been at? I loved it just because he's wearing Tommy and Polo. Yeah. You yeah. Yep. Both this. 
What you would give me on that? Tommy is Tommy. Yeah. Baggy wouldn't be anything like too crazy, probably about like 60 or so. Okay, yeah, I'll just go on. I feel you. That's a cool one. Yeah, yeah. His signature is cool. Yeah, I've got, I bought a bunch of his stuff when uh, he did the art walk down here. Oh, dope. Yeah, and he had like all the loads, all the super stuff, like cashed out and got like all of it signed. Sick. Yeah, I'm a huge Tommy head. That's tight. Wait, I'm actually passing on this one for now, sorry. It's a little thick for right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So these are all things I'd be interested in for today. Okay, cool. Do you want me to go through and do a separate one? So no, you, uh, the only one I'm curious is just this Tommy one, the gray one. Yeah, this one would be 40. 40? Okay. And then the Backstreet Boys? Uh, like 50 on the Backstreet Boys. That's cool. Cool? Okay. Yeah, yeah you can just run through it then. Cool. And I'm going to look around. I'm probably going to leave with something. Gotcha. So. 40, 80, 120. 30 on these, 150. So you have 200 cash or like 240 store credit if you want to look around. Okay, yeah. Could you just write them, I guess, both down and then I'll look around and see if I find something? Appreciate you. No doubt. How much are these again? Sorry. 325. I'll do it in a bit because I don't know. Awesome. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate you. I'll be here weekly. I'm I, 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 like, I'm obsessed with their thing. It's ridiculous. <laughs> What up, guy? What's up, bro? Just, bro, I feel like it's it's like I keep seeing you, so it's like I have to buy those Lotus shorts from you, like every time. You good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. I keep thinking about it too, but actually on the way here, I was thinking about it. And I was like, you know, he was wearing them, and I, I really respect that because most that's people. That's a jacket, right? I care for no fit. That's a jacket. Like, yeah, yeah, that's a jacket. Don't care for no talk, I was thinking about the vest today, but I think the vest has a big flag on it. If I haven't seen it, huh? Wait, what do you mean a big flag? Like, uh, like the big Tommy patch, I think. I think, but I, I don't know. If there's a pull, or if there's someone, maybe that can. If you don't mind, can I just check out the vest? Or do you know if there's a big? Should be, yeah. I believe yeah, there is. Yeah. Not right now. I was just curious on that. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted to pull it down. But yeah, it does actually have a big flag on Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Do you know if the jacket does? I believe it does, yeah. Yeah, it's like all of it. Yeah, yeah. I've been wondering if I'm going to tell them about it. So let's see what they got. Some Bape pants. These are going to be 300. Some Bape jeans. Some Palace jeans. And these are actually pretty hard. 32 for 200. Supreme Champion 180 Stone Island 150 Vintage Nike Yo, you might forget your number for the. Oh, here, yeah. Bape sweats. 200. Supreme little mesh shorts. 150. 280. Swing it on. Prestos, 1800.
Vintage beep. Did you guys, did one of you guys drop your ticket back? What was your, oh, yeah. what was your cash and store credit offer? Is up at the register? Thought it was you guys, I wasn't sure. Of course, wouldn't let you walk out without it. Yeah. I have a question. Because I have two points to start right here. Oh my god, I have one to pass it here. Stone Island Hoodie 160, Stone Island Windbreaker 300, Palace, Burberry's 300, it's actually not a bad size medium though, if it was a large I'd probably do it because I don't think a medium will fit me. Gosha Adidas, 200, the Pata, oh Vintage Prada. Off white Nike. It's this vintage Burberry. Two hundred off white. Two fifty. This isn't that bad. Mona Lisa. Two fifty. Uh, it's like three five maybe. I don't know. What size though? Small. Some vintage Tommy Hilfiger. You got the button-down shirts for 80. Then we have like this rugby style, the little Hilfiger sailing gear for 120. Polo Sport with the little bear. Polo Sport. Wow, that is so hard. How much is this? 150. That's not that bad. My bad. So hard. Tommy, sailing gear, 150.
Well, I just got back from round two and this does conclude the selling sessions episode one. Now again, I included two days. So the first day I got about $250. And then the second day I got about $200. So between two stops, I ended up making about $450, which honestly I can't complain at all because people, because some people don't even make that in a week. So the fact that I can go within two days and make $450 is a blessing and a half. Now they did say that they're gonna try to feel out the Miami market. So they did pass up on a lot of stuff that normally that they would take if it was like the LA store. So I totally understand. They definitely have to see what the Miami style, what. Miami is going to be buying before they can buy a bunch of stuff and then they have a bunch of inventory that doesn't sell. So I totally understand where they're coming from with that. And when I was leaving towards the end, you saw a little conversation I had with that kid. So basically he camped out with me the first night and when I was going through, I saw those Tommy Lotus shorts, but you guys know me. I love Tommy and obviously yellow is my favorite color. So I kind of went with the Stone Island yellow shorts versus the Tommy Lotus shorts. And when I went to go back for those Lotus shorts, that kid had it and I was like, oh man, I wish that I would get it, but I'm glad that you're buying it. Now me, I thought he was like gonna buy it to resell, but the next day I saw him at a sneaker event and he was wearing them. And then the following day I saw him at round two. So that's why I was like, yo, it's meant to be that like, I keep running into you, I need to buy those shorts off of you. And he kind of laughed, but he said no, like he's gonna keep it in his personal collection. But I totally get it, but I told him once he does try to sell it, I'll definitely pick it up because Tommy Lotus is a grail piece for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Tomorrow I'm gonna be thrifting, then the next day will be a sneaker event vlog, then the following day should be Selling Sessions Episode 2. I already recorded Selling Sessions Episode 2, but I kind of want to give a couple days in between. Now I know I'm sorry with like the content, but with round two opening, I feel like my content's gonna be picking up. I need to get back to posting daily. I know, I know, I know, I keep slacking, but don't worry guys, we're on the road to 100,000 subs. We gotta get this going. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Make sure you guys come back tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget guys, let's get it.